Okay guys, so we're going to do a quick walkthrough of the yard today because since the last time we put up a video in I think December, we've done a whole bunch of changes to both Tom's yard and Sam's yard. So we're just going to do a quick walkthrough tour and these will be your narrators. Then conmigo. So this is kind of the last line if you're in Tom's yard. If you make it to this, you have one last chance before you're completely obliterated and spawn fucked and, and killed. So if you get to here, you do have a chance of pushing them back, but that's your last chance. This is the schniz. This helps you move up when you get enough cover from behind to move up and pin down the enemy. You move up here, you go around the sides and get... It's a good route for fence. It's a good route if you have two people going up either side of the yard. It's really helps. It's good for also coming out of spawn, because you can out of spawn, you can basically crouch down here and you're still covered. And All right. This is Phil's beautiful gun port. You see how uh, expertly crafted. Got Expertly angles crafted. all around. <laughs> I know. Not not a single askew line there. It's perfect. perfect. So now, yep. So used to be up to this point. You see here with my foot. That used to be all blackberries from the fence line on, and so we cut those out, and we installed two new pieces of cover, which is that right there. Well, I mean the tarp on the fence, and then that beauty right there. This thing's good for you can shoot you into the valley. You can shoot for people. In the, you can shoot people, and that's in the valley, and that's in the valley. And then um, it's also good if someone hops the fence. You can dip here, and it's also good for attacking this way at the uh, last damage. This is a beautiful piece of cover. It's a good transition piece. You can use it for hopping this way and hopping this way, just moving up. And then hopping into the trench. Obviously, yes, you can go into the trench from that piece of cover, in or out. Both directions. Both directions. Both sides can use it. So here's the main part of the trench right here, sandbag wall. From a first person perspective, you can see up the hill there, all the way up to the tree. From this point, we have our little island with a board. This is, it's falling apart. And... <laughs> And up here you also have the same visuals, and then you can see up there into the valley. This is the, uh, this part of the trench is the first. Yeah, the part, the part over there that Sam's talking about is the original trench. And over here we have another pathway from the original trench, sandbag walls, and a gun port. That goes all the way over here. And you've got this corner piece of cover where you can go up and you can look up into the valley or up at the tree up there and then from there you can walk into what we call the play fort and that's Tom's yard this we call it the caution sign cover where you can dip into the trench over that way and you can stand up here at the sandbags So this cover, as you can see, we call the No More Billy. It's uh, cause Billy, Billy would always fuck around in the valley, and there's no way to take care of him, so you just climb up to here, you get perfect, uh, to press in front there, and it's a really easy nade to anybody in the valley. So, it's a Billy exterminator. Also in this one. Same with that piece of cover right there. You just pop in here and dip towards the valley. This is a new piece. It's like the only piece of cover you can actually just stand behind. It's an old door. It's really relaxing. It's just chill. And immediately across the fence, we have the zigzag cover. Zigzag. As you can see by its shape. Spider hole. It's gone under a few modifications. We, we used to have a roof, but that made it really hard to get in and out because you had to like crouch as you're going out. Um, it's a great piece of cover, but the only problem is, once you get in here, you basically, you can be shot at from every, every, everywhere in Tom's just everyone can see you and get fire on you. So it's a good piece, it's just you get, you get shot at from so many people, it, it makes it hard to use. It's just kind of a bunker. It's, it's mostly used for if you're attacking uphill, and it gets some leverage on a tree, and those two pieces. You, you rarely ever actually are able to rush up the side though. Just for helping your, it's usually for uh, just keeping these guys wary that there's more people when you rush up the right. Doubt that bamboo fence. 
It used to go in all the way across the ridge line there. You can see where we wore a pathway. This is new today. We just cleaned up some boards. Good sight lines and everything down there. This is called the Jesus cover. Before we had a uh, wood rack, we had a tarp over it, and it was round, so it, you could just really. It was really good because you could hide all of your body and all of your head and just have your gun poking out. It was. It was probably the best cover. You guys will recognize it from our blooper reel video of Phil letting people over while reloading from that piece of cover. Yeah, it's in a lot of the older ones. Here is the eat a chicken, which you can't quite. Okay, now you can see it. Eat a chicken. That's the call out for it. Uh, it's pretty good. It's We've always had cover here. It's just you can see everything. There's not much to it. Um... Nobody, a lot of people don't like this. I like this. We have to lay down behind it, obviously, so it is small. I like it. Nobody else seems to like it, too. I use it. This is my favorite piece of the tree. Uh, you can get right down here. You can see, you can see everything. You can slowly turn, see the rest of the yard. It's just, it's really, it's a really good piece of cover. It's hard to get shot from up here. And then this. This is okay. I mean, the, the problem with it though is there's all these bushes in the way, which we're not really ever going to take out because it's a tree, but it's hard to get shots out of here. Once you do though, it's pretty effective. And these bushes are much more effective in the summer when there's actually bushes to be had. But once you can get in here, uh, basically the enemy, if you, when we're wearing camo, the enemy never quite has a, an actual visual on you. They just have to spray and pray, literally, and hope they hit you when you're in there. We put up a windshield in here so you can shoot. You can look through, wait for opportunity, and then pop up and shoot. Um, this trail actually leads all the way out. And if, when you cross the fence, this is basically 90% of the, uh, the attackers come up into here and push their way. In that direction, and then eventually you move all the way out here, get into the front yard, and flank him and shoot him in the ass. All right, and okay. that will uh, that will conclude our tour update. Hope you followed that okay. Bye bye.